This is Quinton Smurhees, an abstract YouTube channel run by Sean Reynard. Quinton's channel was only created at the start of May 2019, but has since received over 40 uploads and has gained over 7,000 subscribers, thanks mainly to his first upload receiving over 100,000 views, seemingly because of the YouTube algorithm alone. All the videos on Quinton's channel seem to be from a huge backlog of content on Sean's Vimeo account, where he's been uploading his video projects for the past six years. Most of the videos on the YouTube channel center around strange inventions, Quinton's interesting and unique instrument collection, or nostalgic media from the 1970s, such as his series of 70s TV intro covers and recreations, for example, the Open University BBC intro from the 1970s. I assume all the remaining content is supposed to be filmed in the present day considering it's all HD, widescreen, well edited and has quite high production value for example with the various locations like Quinton in a boat, Quinton in the mountains, Quinton in the rapeseed oil field, Quinton has even made his own TV ident featuring his beautiful music boxes. And he's also made an automaton cover of a video about fallout from explosions. <laughs> Quinton's channel and Sean Reynard's personal YouTube channel were created around the same time, and Sean Reynard's channel includes some of the non Quinton content from the video backlog. The oldest Quinton related video on Vimeo dates back to April 2015 and shows Quinton visiting a modern art gallery. I found this video surprisingly tame considering some of the tomfoolery that Quinton's got up to since. When I actually think about it, Quinton's kind of been doing ASMR videos before they were cool. Maybe I should make a Quinton ASMR compilation. Here comes Quinton. He has to wear his special worm helmet this weekend. Doesn't like wearing it though. Cheeky boy. Yes. Very cheeky. Anyway, now let's talk about some of Sean's work, the stuff not related to Quinton. The first video Sean uploaded to his Vimeo was a children's TV show pilot, which goes horribly wrong as the production team struggles to interview someone who, according to the Vimeo description, is the creator of some background music on an old British TV show called 321. At the end of the video, you can hear the production team shouting. Okay, okay. I feel like this has some similarities to This House Has People In It from Adult Swim, which documents the house through the CCTV cameras hidden inside it, and slowly things start to go wrong towards the end of the video. We're a family! No matter what anyone says, love each other through grinding teeth! I could actually easily imagine Sean having his work on Adult Swim, because I feel like it has a very similar vibe to the kind of stuff 
they like to show in their Adult Swim Small series, where they feature different online creators' work, such as Jack Storber and Umami. Sean is listed on the IMDb page for a very uh, interesting film released in 2015 titled Ah, uh, which I actually watched last year with my parents. To be honest, that probably wasn't a good idea since there's a lot of uncomfortable scenes, nudity, and you see a close-up of someone's dick within the first 10 minutes of the film. But I mean, I'd recommend it if you're into weird movies. Ah featured Sean as the character Og, or OG, perhaps. Sean has also been in a 2016 film titled The Ghoul as a party guest, which I haven't watched, as well as a 2018 short film titled Carry On Keep Calm, where he is a vegan trumpet as listed on IMDb. And I think that was a role that he suited very well. I actually paid £3 to watch that on Vimeo On Demand. That's how much effort I'm putting into this research. And what can I say about Carry On Keep Calm? Well, first off, the CG was amazing. It must have been done by like Michael Bay or Steven Spielberg or someone of that calibre because it was just beautiful. Speak for yourself, mate. I'm not lost. And I liked when Sean slammed into everyone on his bike. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Careful! Oh my god. That's all I have to say about Sean and Quentin for now. That's a brief history and analysis, I suppose. Go and check him out and subscribe with notifications on. And subscribe to me as well. He has so much content now on YouTube that you can go and binge, and it's all amazing. We also both have Patreons, so you can donate to support our work. And Quentin has a red bubble store where you can rep that merch, baby. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye for now. At this point, I'd like to say thank you to my patrons Jelly Duck 100 with the $10 donation, as well as Duke Hack with the $1 donation. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.